playing with those roller hooligans again? Your mom, Jala? Really? You're pretending to be a whole different person to your parents, Bruno. Asian family pressure. I get it, okay? I really do. But maybe you should try telling them the truth. You can end the charade before the final curtain comes down. And what is up, guys? We are back again with another part of Thirsty Suitors, Chapter 5. We were free, jelly beans. Help Irfan find his lost cat and say goodbye to a coping mechanism that had outlived its use. Is Jala growing as a person? What a perfect moment to backslide into bad habits and old flames. I might just indulge in it. Yeah, yeah, fall, dude. I know, dude. You don't have to sign your text. Shabrick says he misses you. He hates me. Fine, it was me. I miss you. Oh, your father is so nice. He's such a nice guy. He's hissing right now, isn't he? Anyway, how's I, Aisha? Nobody died. Oh, oh shit. That's a fucked up thing to say to him. She's really a teenager now, huh? Any idea how to get through to her? You know, she loves Jala Beast. Maybe some of it will soften her up. I saw one of you mention that in the comments earlier. Morning, today, Jala. Actually. I was hesitating. Good morning, on it. family of mine. Are you talking about something top secret? Am I allowed to be here? Don't be upset with us, body doer. It's a complicated position to be in when your daughters aren't speaking. Arvind, can't you recognize that look in her eyes? She's angling for something. Damn, she's good. Saw right through the attempt to guilt Dad. Fine, Jala. What do you want to know? Are Ahmed and Aruni compatible? What's his star sign? Ooh, someone gave him a Myers-Briggs test. Oh my God. Obviously they are compatible. Or we wouldn't have approved. Yeah, that's why my romantic life went so smoothly. You are an entirely different person, Jala. You do not take direction well. Arun is older. Your choices are less hot-blooded at that age. You're deflecting the question. Both of you. Hmm. He is a wonderful that's match for true. Arun. Ahmad has that's good true. manners, a good job as an engineer. Okay, good. Ahmed. He is an excellent From cook too. Palestine. Very sharp, very kind young man. I would say he's handsome, wouldn't you, Minnie? Oh, so should I try to... Is that... Are you telling me I should mess His with, best quality um, is Irfan? his dedication to his parents. He reminds me of Irfan, now that I think about it. Right? Okay, so, uh, I get it. I get he's with perfect. Irfan? Arnie knows how to pick him. I'm glad to hear it. We could stand to hear how perfect she is less often, though. Cut the sambun. Let's try some fish. Let's make fish fry. The and trick is in the marinade. Everything else is quite straightforward. I wonder what else she's been marinating on. What was that, Jala? What did I do and how much trouble am I in? Really, Jala? Can't I just want to teach you how to make fish fry without having some ulterior motive? <laughs> I don't believe her, but... Sure, Amma. Let's just get started, shall we? Start by washing your hands. Very good. Score the fish in one direction, not too deep. We just want to allow the marinade to sink in, mm. not slice the fish into ribbons.
Oh, they got Not me. Not bad. Is that good enough for you? So, Jala. Uh oh. How long exactly are you going to spend doing nothing in life and living in your childhood bedroom? I guess facing up Ooh, to my past mistakes attack. and painstakingly trying to heal my important emotional relationships counts as nothing to you? What is wrong with you today, Jala? You're in such a mood. Take some of that aggression out on the ginger garlic paste instead, will you? Your dad would say you did well. But I'm not your dad. Chandra told me you've been helping her and Tyler with the skate Holy park shit. situation. Is it not going well? Is that why you're so touchy this morning? I guess it would have been too much to attacking. expect sympathy from you, huh, Ma? Well, I don't approve of the goings-on in the park. I've never trusted mascots. That's why I never took you girls to Disney World. What? That's why Auntie C snuck us there? I thought Amma just hated Joy. Now, add the turmeric, coriander, Kashmiri mirch, garam masala, and cumin to the paste. Then finish with a dash of lemon. Ooh. Oh, this sounds fire. I can already taste it. Except I, never, I don't know if I've ever tasted Kashmiri or garam masala. Only tikka masala. I can already get a feeling this is almost like a good tasting fish. What kind of fish are I can never eat? top your skills in the kitchen. That's no reason to give up. Ah! I really am an incredible teacher. Whether things go well with the skate park or not, I hope you won't let that influence things with Tyler. She's been through enough, don't you think? Tyler wants to keep our relationship strictly business, and I'm respecting that. <laughs> Sorry, I really tried to keep a straight face. You only have one sibling, but somehow you're the third favorite child. That's gotta sting. Coat the palm fruit with the marinade, Jala. Ouch. We don't have all day. It was fine. How much validation do you need? Set the fish aside to rest and marinate for a bit. Speaking of which... Oh no, I hate it when she makes these recipes metaphors for our emotional failures. Don't you think you've let the situation with Aruni marinate long enough? No. You know what? I was planning to apologize, but now I'm the one who's pissed at her. Forget taking responsibility. Let's assign blame, baby. At this rate, she'll be married and have three children before you two actually talk. Forget it. Light the stove, Jala. That's something even you can't get wrong, no? Jeez. Sorry. Was I supposed to praise your average performance? Given your attitude, Jeez. I'm sure I already know the answer to the question. But still, I'll ask, are you planning to stay in Timber Hills? Look at that. The oil is hot enough to fry the fish now. Mm, so it is. Put the fish in the pan gently. I don't need you getting burns on top of everything else. Paying attention. Yay. Ooh, at least you are saying that looks fire. Mm. How is it, Emma? A little heavy handed on the turmeric, but otherwise decent. Thanks, Ma. Don't get ahead of yourself. There's room for improvement. Hmm. Probably should have attacked on that last one. But, you know, I guess she doesn't really know. 
Just chana masala, dal wali. So you're making jalebis to placate not just Irfan, but Irfan's little sister who hates you. How does she know these things? You really think a plate of jalebis can earn you forgiveness? I would overlook a murder for a good jalebi. Not everyone is entirely emotionally motivated by their stomach jala. Besides, there's no guarantee your jalebis will be any good. It's the thought that counts. When it comes to cooking, I don't think so. Do I even need to say it? Hand washing jala? You didn't actually need to say it, but don't let that stop you, Ma. Adequate. Ooh, Light look at the stove, and heat up a pot so you can start on the sugar syrup. So this like funnel cake. Very good. What else do you expect, Jala? A parade? Do you really have to make a big production out of simple tasks like lighting the stove? A little flair adds spice to life, doesn't it, Ma? Mm, my mistake for even asking. Pour the sugar and water into the warm pot. You won't completely embarrass me in front of party. Stir the sugar until it dissolves. Careful, it's hot, like your temper. Yeah, ha ha. If only you could add some sugar and sweet me up the same way, huh? Mm. No, I'm glad you have a temper. It's good for a woman to be in touch with her anger oh. in this world. God knows there's enough to be angry about. Wow, mom dropping some truths. Oh. Um, Facts. Thanks, Mom. Yes, well, remember to keep stirring until the sugar dissolves completely. I knew you had my cooking genes. Next step is mixing saffron with <sighs> warm milk. Once it's dissolved, add rose water. Ooh. Oh my god, this sounds so good. I, I so love this smell. It's like comforting. Your party sprays rose water on herself after a bath. Maybe that's why it's familiar? I don't think that's exactly how I would describe party. Uh, yes, perhaps not. Her presence is more formidable than comforting, really. Even when you were a child? Especially then. Oh, some bonding. Good. Now pour the milk mixture into the sugar syrup. Keep it on low heat so it stays warm. Otherwise, the jalebis won't soak it up as well. I've already given you too many compliments today. Arani's barely spoken a word to me nice. since I've been back, you know. Hmm. So, I combined the dry ingredients for you because you always make a mess with the flour. Do you think you'll ever let that go? I was like five years old. I sneezed and the flour went everywhere. I wish I had taken a picture. You were such a charming child. Your extreme nostalgia for my childhood implies that you didn't enjoy my adolescent years at home. I bought you all the black eyeliner and hot topic you wanted. Why don't we just focus on that? Uh-huh. Okay, fine. True. The next part is all you. Mix water and dahi in a bowl and then add the flour. Make sure the batter is thick and smooth. No lumps allowed in my kitchen. Your dad would say you did well. But I'm not your dad. If these come out well, Maybe I'll take some to Arani. Mm, if you think that's a good idea. 
Her sweet tooth is the crack in her emotional defenses that I will exploit to gain the upper hand. And by gain the upper hand, you mean apologize profusely? Yes! <laughs> exactly! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, let's see how they come out first, shall we? <laughs> Fill the piping bags with the batter you just mixed and pipe spirals into the hot oil carefully. Once they're nice okay. and golden, dip them in the warm sugar syrup and serve hot. I don't know why. You just reminded me so much of my grandmother. It feels like she's right here with us. Well done, Jala. Touchdown! That's what mm. they say in basketball, no? The ladies. Look at that. What's the verdict? I'd serve these to guests. Wow. Really? Thanks, Ma. Maybe not to desi guests, but still, not bad. Hey. Fresh and hot. She's convinced you're trying to poison her. Dude, these ladies are too delicious to poison. It would be a crime. That'll assuage her paranoia. Someone better eat these. Blood fields have started for less. <laughs> Village is destroyed. Fields sown with salt. She's not joking though. Meet me at the town square. Beautiful. So what if I inspect it again? Alright. You a serial earphone? I'll go see. I'll go meet Sergio and then uh, we'll go put the earphone. For handling that scape on the way kid. out. No worries. Text me anytime you need a child gently intimidated. Hopefully it's a one-off. So you're a dance coach. Volunteer dance coach. I bet the kids really love you. I love coaching, but my dad thinks I'm wasting my time. You have to follow your heart wherever it leads. Always. You think so? You can't deny your passions forever. They always bubble up, no matter how deep down you bury them. Huh. You sound like you're speaking from experience. Hey, Jala, ever hear of moderation? You should probably service your infatuations less, actually. Well, but thanks again for being in my corner. I'm glad to know I have someone to call on. I know you could have handled that kid yourself. You don't need to make up excuses to see me. Aww. But the excuse is half the fun. Oh, then. So what? You're telling me I can't. You got it. I can always tell. It's like we're telepathically connected. Cool. So I can get.
Uh, yeah, let's do it. But that means I can probably get a banana milkshake like almost every time I come. Next is your phone. After we go to loops. And maybe go see Auntie Chandra. Wipeout in tandem. Let it inside you, Jala. You'll never frown again. Hey there, kiddo. I hear you finally know about Ahmed. He's a sweetie. Though I heard Arani's not too pleased that your parents spilled the beans. Nothing gets by you, huh, auntie? I am the gossip guru of Timber Hills, and don't you forget it. So which one of you has been avoiding the other? I went around looking for her the very first day I got here. And then she tells my parents they can't talk to me about her wedding. If anyone is acting immature, it's not the person confronting their mistakes on a daily basis. Listen, older sisters have it hard too. I would know. All the pressures of parental expectation with all the blunders of being work. the test run child. But you could tell that the whole, that arm's not connected to her body if you know about like animation or video games. They just drew like a forearm and that's why they flip it backwards so you can't see her finger work when she has to flip it backwards. So it's not that too complicated for them because she looky looks like she dislocates her finger and You're an older sibling. In her hand anymore. Of course you'd say that. Aw. Don't you remember when you were kids? Going on auntie adventures? You got along so well. Yeah, going to Salmon Swimmer's water park instead of the class camping trip was incredible. But we were in grade school. Our biggest problems with each other revolved around Barbies. And splitting Halloween candy. The dad tax really added pressure to negotiations. Sure. All right, Jala, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You aren't? Nope. I will silently hold judgment until I can say I told you so. Told me what? Exactly. Told who what exactly? Damn. Let's 
try the gaming game one more time. And then we're gonna, I promise you, that we're gonna go see your phone. Skate as a shower. like that one game on the that one browser game. Jala Nator two six two nine. That's a good tool. Jala Nato. Alright, let's go see. This is Jala Nato. Jala, that smells delicious. I'm sure Shark is very thankful. Irfan, you're a vet. You and I both know that's not how cats work. Especially not that cat. Hiss. I'm telling you, beneath the scrouchy face and the smoke-breathing tiger, works the softest and tenderest of souls. Sure, deep down maybe. Very, very deep down. He's a good boy, really. Jala Jaratla. Do not ignore this text. Report to your auntie C. A. S. A. I do not like what I'm doing. Oh, see, someone's in trouble. Jala Jaratla. Her name is Jala Jaratla. That is such a fun name to say. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jala Jaratla. So, I was just minding my business skating. And she said she was better than me, a skate peasant, and that I was obsessed with my brother, who belonged to her. And then she attacked what? me for no reason. That doesn't seem totally accurate. She's been challenging all the skate punks, including you. The streets run red with the blood of babes. The blood of babes, Cece. Ah, so I like what she did with her feet. As bro. we were saying, she's burned our crops and poisoned our drinking water. Hi. Are they actually tattling on us? Jala, have you been fighting these children? 
both these young women challenged me the minute I introduced myself. Accepting a challenge is an act of acceptance with intention for combat. Duh. Really, Jala? I don't know what you're thinking. Picking fights with these girls? You're far too old for this. Well, it's too late for you now anyway. You've gone and done it. By defeating us, you've attracted the attention of the general. Soundy's first follower, the mama bear. You know she'd kill you if she heard you call her that. It's true. Salma's waiting for you, Jala. And she's gonna eat you alive. Yeah, I'm really intimidated right now. While I didn't break a sweat with either of you, I'll definitely manage this time. Just you wait, Jala. I'm uh -huh. training with Auntie Chandra now. Soon, I'll strike you down once and for all. Auntie, are you helping train her for my demise? My doors are open for anyone who needs a shoulder to cry on or a bag to punch it out on. You know that. Curse that selflessness. It's slightly inconvenient for our battles. All right, That's enough me. bickering in my shop. Hand over your boards for repairs or shoe. Yeah, Jala. How about you meet me outside for a sec? Hey, Jala. What? You're being summoned. What? You're being summoned. God, are those headphones giving you tinnitus? By who? Where? Samdi summons you to the skate park or whatever. Why? Something, something, Sama. I skimmed. I'm playing Snake. Jala, you should get to the skate park and see what Salma needs. She's a good girl, with a lot going on. I expect reports of your best behavior. You expect too much. So, no, they won't talk to me. They're not cool. Zala Zara. Jelly beans. The Jala neighbor. Nice back foot. Well, I mean, her mom says stay with the tiger. What's wrong with... I mean, that depends. If I decide to keep... Shala as a nice person, then yeah, it's probably your fault. If I decide to make her toxic, it will probably be Tyler. Hey, if you see Irfan, tell him to tell Shaw Rook that the raccoon behind the dumpster wants a rematch. Instead of throwing out the coffee grinds, I collect it and use it instead of soap. Don't give me that look. It's exfoliating. Ew. It smells amazing, and the caffeine...
Indeed. Alright. We need to open up the gear menu. Ooh, I might keep that. That's her classic jacket. That's her pride jacket. I need to do the varsity. <laughs> I like that. See, she looking clean. Oh, so I either get three earphones or I could do that. Oh. Yeah, we should probably start following up with people. Why they color Jala's hands like that? If you look where her hand is up at her hair, I wonder why they colored it like that. Tyler again. We're gonna try and get these battles out fast. And make sure to watch out for my Persona Tactica video, guys. That will be coming out next, probably right after this video. Then I got class tomorrow. Shana Jayana. You're here to face my good general, my self-righteous right hand. Ah, oh, well, Selma has been instrumental to Barefoot, family bickers, but we love our cubs dearly. When she first caught my eye, she was struggling. 
trying to set up a community fridge while her own fridge remained barren. So sweet, but so misguided. Just needed a push in the right direction. My direction. Just like you. We've done this a few times now. No need to faff about anymore. A bear knows when it's time to stop playing with their food and finally take a bite. I need you, Jala. The mayor hasn't spoken to her daughter in years. And she'd do anything to get her back. To get her happy little family back. Do you understand? She'd give anything. Even the upcoming election. No. No. No way. I don't just That's want the, the park, Jala. MacGuffin. My plans are so much bigger than that. Who better to represent the freaks, the untidy, sharp-edged deviants tossed in the gutter, than moi? This town has no future. There's no building on top of rot. It needs to burn to begin anew. Well, there's a campaign slogan for you. I see you. You're a misfit toy. So am I. And our judges have never truly loved us. For us to thrive, they must be brought low. What rises from the ashes will be fresh, pure. Finally a place with us in mind. Don't speak. This moment doesn't belong to either of us anyway. Face my general. Consider my offer. I was about to say, aren't I supposed to fight somebody? Oh, this girl. I hear you've been beaten on the other scales. Bear. They're mostly teens who just graduated and don't know where to go. Scared of taking on someone your own size? Big, small, doesn't matter to me. If you stand in my way, you're going down. <laughs> that sure doesn't sound like someone back to make amends. I was targeted. I have never wronged you personally. Are we sure? Would you bet money on that? You don't get it. You just can't hear the message. Oh, shit. Soundy's message. I noticed though that people with loving homes are the most willing to throw theirs away. They don't know what they have. They can appreciate. Mm. And you, Jala, you had an abundance of love. Dia told me you kept looking for more and more, tossing out what was left behind as scraps. Not even close to that simple with my family or my exes. At home, it felt like I was being smothered, and in my relationships, I was chasing something because I always felt alone. The initial rush would fade, and oh my God, that's me! And but that's you were alone, not truly alone, with nowhere to live and no one to turn to. I left home when I was 16 and got my first job. My parents didn't ask about me once. I came to Timber Hills and didn't know what's all. But I have people now, so I fight for my life here, before sounding. 
These kids had nobody to fight for them. When we talk about the Barefoot Code and protecting the soul of Timber Hills, it's us. We're the soul of Timber Hills, the youth who want to build our lives here. Soundy understands that. The mayor doesn't. If you're not with us, you're against us too. Soundy thought better of you. And until now, I've been too patient. It's time I make him see how wrong he was about you. Huh. Oh, for real? That's how you want to do? Well, great. You're way too protective over your cubs, mama bear. Don't call me that. He gave me a promise. He would protect me, my friends, our town. Now, his obsession with you threatens everything we work for. Don't you see what's happening? You're being manipulated. Soundy is using your passion and the youth of this town to form his personal army. I, I, I wouldn't let that happen. I know better. That's a dangerous way of thinking. Soma, you're in it. And I'm looking at you and telling you what I see from the outside. The truth is, Soundy's holding you all back. You'd lead those teens better than he can. M me? Leading? I, I... I couldn't. Soundy may have shortcomings, but... But... Enough! You're trying to throw me off, huh? Divide and conquer? I don't think so. I'm channeling every ounce of the Barefoot Code, and I will put an end to your descent, Jala. That is true, he's trying to manipulate us too. He literally did just kind of prove that. Weakening wax. I understand why you take this found family so seriously. But you have to admit, this is pretty goofy. You're fighting me over a community disagreement with an anonymous adult in a rotting suit. Get over yourself. <laughs> Ooh, that is kind of true. That is pretty true. True first. Have you ever even had a job? You fight like you have your parents still pay for your insurance. may be the creator of the Barefoot Code, but I'm its enforcer.
You know, Thrasher wanted to interview me about my Timber Thrills trick. I declined in the wow, end. Wow, Thrasher Just magazine? Too much exposure, you know? I don't do it for the fame. Nope, you generally prefer infamy. Too hot, ma. Do not. I was gonna say, ma'am. Of, of course, General Selma, ma'am. Feel too hot, ma. Do not. I was gonna say, ma'am. Of, of course. Have you realized that by trying to establish this skate cult, you're becoming the establishment? And by fighting the establishment, I'm more of a skate you know. punk than you. <gasps> I've used this argument Guys, against people and it actually messing works with me. because it's not okay to say man I ain't feel too hot ma do not I was gonna say ma'am of, of course My belief was pure. After all my efforts, I keep fighting so hard my whole life, but I never win. You gotta keep fighting. Helping someone establish a mascot based cult might not have been the best method of community organizing. I'm sure Dia would be thrilled if you gave this up. Just because I lost this fight doesn't mean I'm giving up. The mayor cannot sell this land out from under us, but maybe the way I've gone about it. One of the first lessons I ever learned was no gods, no masters. I might have lost sight of that lately. Wow. Guess bears might need to be added to that list, huh? Yeah, I've really been enjoying this game, by the way, guys. Like, I don't know, it's a lot of relatable stuff. The 
Jala Jaira. I know you tried to get through to Salma. She hasn't had the easiest of times. Not everyone's lucky enough to have a supportive family. You've done all you can. I guess we'll see how things shake out in the next couple of days. Tyler has Forget a it. Family. I get that you're distracted right now. Arunie's been blowing up my phone. It's like I'm reliving all the worst fights of your teenage years. You're both being ridiculous. Wait, Jala, let me handle this, okay? Since you're the one who brought it up, do you have any actual advice or just more criticisms? I am not getting in between you two. I just can't. You left us behind, Jala. Are you really surprised that we're wary of letting you back in? How exactly are we supposed to fix anything if we can't even have a conversation? How is pushing her when she's not ready helping anything? Fine. I don't care if she never speaks to us again. We don't need her. So that's what you're really afraid of? That this rupture will be permanent? She's not avoiding you to punish you, she's protecting herself. Think about it from her perspective. Everybody's How is she supposed to believe you won't hurt her like do? that again? Give her time, Jala. People's feelings don't run on a schedule. Jelly beans, it's me. You ready to blow this joint yet? Meet me at the general store. Got a hoard of that candy you like. You know you want to taste. Oh, this guy. What if I follow up with somebody? Hey, how'd you get this number? I hate that, just kidding. I knew that. Are you busy? What can I do for you? One of those guys your poppy sent has been harassing me. Tell him to stop. Sure. Hey. Hey, Jala Vala. How are you? Do you always type in full sentences? Should I not do that? You do. You do. If you're done judging me, I need your help with something. What do you need? I'm a bit busy, but my time needs some stuff. He is waiting for you at the diner. He'll give you the details. Oh, it's my time the dog. Hey, hey. You want to go dancing sometime? Sure. Cool. Meet me at the diner. We're going to have fun. Promise. So, I got a Friday suitor. Talk to Machan. Go to Luke's. And meet with Sergio. I'm a... Where are we at? Almost an hour? We're gonna start with... Fighting the sooner. Nah, we're gonna start with... What's his name, of course? Indeed. What a mess of being used now. Sure is. I've been waiting to kick his ass. Yeah. Want to get in the back of my pickup and drive till no one knows our names? We'll have the stars for a blanket hmm. and put fresh s'mores on a portable grill. Now the prospect of leaving Timber Hills in the rear view has a lot of appeal. Yes, run away the moment things get difficult. It's worked for us before. Do I have to remind you how running off with Bruno the summer of junior year ended? He gave you that smile, promised you the earth, and ditched you three towns over. Dad had to come pick you up. Wow. Mom never trusted you the same way again. I'm not expecting everything to be the same, Jala. I've changed. You've changed. Bruno. Hear me out, baby. We could be so sweet together. Oh, it's definitely screwed, Bruno. 
Screw Bruno Tatalia. No more Salazzo tricks. He has his own song. Bruno has his own song. Go back in town to take responsibility? Don't you know where that road leads? To a boring office job being exploited by the man, man. Settling down, applying for a mortgage. Home ownership in this economy? Can you really see yourself doing laundry and taxes <laughs> for the rest of your life? Letting your dreams wither into distant memories? Do you really want to settle for an ordinary life? So let me get this straight. I have to prove my specialness by going along with your latest whim. And if I don't, I'm some kind of square. Good try, yeah, bro. Time be a Maybe I'm just not that into you. You ever think of that? No, you're lying. You still got it, bro. Don't let it get in your head. Can I tell you a secret, Jala? Every one of the promises I break, I believe them completely when I make them. I want to be the son my parents think I am. I could be him. He's a part of me. Yeah, a part he plays. It's not the same thing. Maybe with you, I could change. Stop being so afraid. There's oh, more to me, Jala. I just need someone to give me a reason. All of this sounds like a you problem, bro. If you want a grand transformation, hire a renovator. Or better yet, go to therapy. I'm not interested in fixer-uppers. What? But that line it never fails. I don't understand. These are Bruno's contradictory inner selves. They're his shields against true self-reflection. You have like to Scott shatter Pilgrim his illusions Negus, of himself before you can take him down. Got it. Time to crack open his candy-coated shell. You think offering me glimpses of hidden depths is enough to tempt me? <laughs> I know I wasn't the best boyfriend, but we had an adventure. I know you still remember. What I remember is Jala finding out that Bruno's entire life is built on an elaborate lie. His parents back home in Malaysia sent him here to get an MBA. Bruno dropped out without telling them. Holy shit, dude. You're, he's a real His road-dripping lifestyle? POS. Paid for by the tuition checks he's been cashing. For one oh night's edge, heart-pounding, dizzying moment, we were free, Jelly Beans. And right now, you look like you're caught in a trap. I could be your way out. Do your parents back home in Malaysia still think you're at business school, Bruno? They're happy thinking that. Why would I mess with that? Aren't you afraid of what will happen once they find out? They're going to be so disappointed in you. Worse, they might cut off your credit cards. Don't even joke about that, JB. <sighs> I'll figure it out if and when it happens. Why spend my time worrying about the future or the past? You really have to learn to be present in the moment. Let me paint a picture for you. With, a beautiful collage of future memories. So close, all you have to do is reach out and touch. The Santa Ana wind in your hair, the California coast turning gold in the sunset. The radio's playing our favorite song and it's like we could be young forever. You and me but eventually against you gotta the grow. universe. Ooh, I like sound patches.
Yeah, I'm just keep spamming that. You look so stressed out, Jala. I give the best massages. Just saying. She got me. I'm done for. You are never really my type anyway, Jala. Oh my god. Bro. No! Go on without me. Never look back. You hear me? I regret nothing. It was all worth it for you, bro. So you're the side of Bruno that encouraged him to ditch me three towns over. Guilty. Life's too short to linger on the bad stuff, Jala. Are you really being a good bro to Bruno? Or helping him stay trapped in his delusions? Uh -huh. Trying to you fix your mistakes. Me. The only mistake you made was giving up on your new life and coming back here. Everyone in this oh, town shit. wants something from you, apart from me. I just want to set you free. I learned my lesson about free rides with you. Remember the Oregon coast? Tillamook Creamery? That night on the beach? You said you'd write, call, stay in contact, all those things. But here we are. I'll make up for it. Promise. Just... Live. Auntie! Yeah, had to. Yo, that's pretty cool. I might have made a bunch of mistakes, but at least I'm owning up to them. Yeah, of course that one will. Come with free snacks. How many yes. of your other prospective dates can say that? Free snacks. Are you still good with your hands? I'm even better. I've had a lot of practice since we last met.
Super dunk, Thalmy. Whoa, that's Oh my, what the hell? Ew. Ew, I would like to unsee that, please. Why are you breaking my heart Me into too. pieces, Jala? All I want is to be sweet to you. What if I just want to taste what's under that candy-coated shell of yours? My hench bros sacrificed themselves for me. For us. So you can see how far I'm willing to go for you. Why look before you leap? Why keep questioning? What's the worst that could happen if you just take a chance on me? Batter up. You can't break me down, Jala. I'm more than just a sum of my parts. You're just a boy playing with his toys. Mistakes, okay? My family put so much pressure on me. You gotta prove you're better than all your cousins, my dad said. You have to justify my marriage to your mother. Mm. Being around you oh, made me shit. realize what a charade my life was. Maybe part of me wanted to mess up your perfect image to your parents. Prove to myself you were just like me. You're pretending to be a whole different person to your parents, Bruno. Asian family pressure. I get it, okay? I really do. But maybe you should try telling them the truth. You can end the charade before the final curtain comes down. I don't want to talk about them. Oh, I think you hit a nerve. What are you so afraid of? That they'll be disappointed if they knew the truth? That they'll stop loving you? Kind of person I am. I'll cut the I said I don't want to talk about, about my parents. Exactly, and that's when you know shout out to everybody. All right, you want to talk? Let's really talk about it. Oh, you don't want to really get into the root of the issue? Okay. This is the spring of our lives, that's John. Let's yeah. just enjoy it. want to go on an adventure. You're the last person I would want to go with. The last person? Come on. Tyler would probably drive you both off a cliff. Uh. I bet your dad hugs you and tells you he's proud of you even when he isn't. Uh, yeah, he does. God damn it. <laughs> you know, I actually used that on somebody. So I was like, yeah, Bishop Pennant said he's proud of you, huh? Actually, yes, yeah, really. I'm gonna whisk you away like you secretly wanted. That's called kidnapping, Bruno. You'll have to give me a tour of your new tattoo sometime. Anytime you like, baby. Damn, so it works. He's about to he's about to make me go see my father. My go father. on an adventure with me, Jala. Let's pretend nothing else exists. At least for a little while. Probably not. Mother was right about you. You are a bad influence. Moms hate me. That's half my appeal. Ouch, that one stung. That one's pretty that was pretty funny. Why stay that where you're clearly I'm not going on. Not wanted, so... Sorry, You think you can get out of anything with a smile and a little charm, don't you? Is it working? Come on. Usually works. Are 
Are you serious? I've got a truck, a job, a mean set of skills in the kitchen. What more do you want? Consistency? Would it really be so bad to go on one single no strings, no expectations date with me? I guess. No, bad Jala, no. Go ahead, do it, Bruno. Oh, that's how long it's been since my last save. An hour and 16 ago. That is how long this I know you're been tempted going. to run away again, but you're a fighter, so get back. Life's too short to linger oh, on the bad fight. stuff, Jala. You think I'm conventional? You are a living cliche. Why don't we take a long drive? Let the distance bring a fresh perspective. Aha! I'm a better man than I was. You helped make me better, Jala. Next is the sun. You make me want to prove I can be a better person. You're the only one who makes me want to try. Well. Ah! This always happened to me! I'm sorry you never thought you could be friends or something. I wanted you to run away with me again because going back to the past is safer than facing the future. I've been running in circles a long Real. time. Trying to pretend this game will last forever. But I guess you can't outrun the future. Even the past can sneak up on you, if you're not careful. So what happens now, for you and me? You've always been a temptation I've found hard to resist. I am judging you so hard right now. Seriously, Jala? Oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. I'll be in touch, Jelly Beans. I'll take you on a long drive you'll never forget. Oh, but don't worry, we're not really. <laughs> Come on. Yo, I keep getting heartbreaker, and that is so real life like me. Damn, I don't try to be a heartbreaker though. So like doing the right thing, I keep getting heartbreaker. Hmm. Do I end home and end the day? 
before I go talk to the dog real quick. Is he talking to us? We walked right up to him. Who else would he be talking to? Okay, there's a difference between a dog barking because you approach it and active attempts at cross-species communication. <sighs> Don't give us that look. Oh, he has a note. Jala, please fetch a secret item from Loops, a skate key from Auntie Chandra, and my lost ball. Where is my ball? Please help find ball. I mean, it's written like Machan, but that's Irfan's handwriting. Can Irfan Irfan's speak like to animals? <laughs> I mean, I can sometimes. Okay, okay. Sorry, Machan. No more distractions. I'm on it. Oh. Other two we will handle in the next video. This has been an hour and 20 minute video. So let's go. But it's been a fulfilling episode. I don't know what I call it. It's the Zanonete versus Bruno. What do I call it? Uh, guys, we're missing one. Where's Bruno? He left town. Alone. How do you know this information? <laughs> so much for Bruno's master plan. No, seriously. I'm mildly concerned that Sergio is stalking all of us. He really just left <laughs> town? Without even saying goodbye to us? I'm just taking a healthy interest in my rivals. It's just good sense. Leaving town is kind of what he does. I'm not the only one hearing this, am I? Hello? <sighs> Sergio's been a creep since grade school. What's new? What's new is that I'm in the blast radius of his creepiness. Yeah, what? Also, I'm not a rival. I barely even count as an ex. <laughs> you and Sergio have that in common. What? Wow. Wow. Et tu, Tyler? I caught you practicing clever lines to devastate Jala in the mirror yesterday. Friendship code violation! Uh, 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 friends don't let friends lie to themselves, babe. Enjoy your little confrontation, Andale. Don't come crying to me when it all goes up in flames. Andale is Africa. It's officially 10.45 Eastern Time on the night of November 20th. Is that Tuesday? Jalapa. Mongols. I heard you had a run in with that boy Bruno today. And you're still here and not three towns over. Oh. That's a win. This is all an illusion. I'm actually in the passenger seat of his pickup truck, sipping on a watered-down gas station soda. So you were tempted for a moment? Or still? Uh, you know what? Don't answer that. You chose to stay. You keep choosing it. Oh. That's what counts. Oh. That's a real damn worry because, like, I, I can't really control what you do. Can I just so cuddle up here with you thing, tonight? So. Of course, Jalla Banana. I'll put something on you can fall asleep to. So, like, Jala basically Banana. everything you like to watch? Oof, ouch. A direct hit straight to the heart. Kidding, kidding. Still a mess of contradictions. That's what we'll be uh, next time, guys. Guys, 
John Sorry. So that was what's her name? No. She's still pretty upset with me. Do you mind talking to her? Please? Bored of me? But yeah, guys. Wow, we got a lot of tasks this time. But I'll catch you next time. Oops. I'll catch you next time. This has been Thirsty Suitors. This has been a longer video, but I'll see you next time. Thanks so much, and watch out for that next video.